What is up, everybody? Craig from Nine Volt Games. And today I'm going to be doing something that I've actually only done once on the site. And it's going to be a follow-up to a review. Which is obviously Skyrim. I do believe that games that I'm super hyped for, that I review, I think I should go back and review them twice. Um, or like a follow-up. Simply because, like I said, the hype that surrounds it, um, I could end up giving a game higher praise than it deserves because it's, it's brand new and still exciting to me, um, and it could change down the road. For the most part, this game has not changed. This, this game is still um, my game of the year. Um, I've got 40 hours on it now. I'm level 25. I was going to say 25. I was going to lie to you. Um, and my perception of some of, the game, some of the things in the game have changed. Um, some for the good, some for the worst. Um, I can tell you right now, one of the things I absolutely hate in this game is dragons. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. Um, I think I told you the first review that it was epic when you got into a fight with a dragon. And uh, it's not really. Now it's more of a hindrance because I don't give a shit about the shouts. I know most people actually like the shouts. I don't. Um, that's not to say that they're useless. They're not useless at all. Um, it just depends on your play style and play style for my character. I don't really need the shouts anymore. Where am I? I don't even remember what I'm doing. Ah, yes. I'm doing the uh, Dark Brotherhood missions. Maybe I should get out of here. I don't want to have any spoilers. Yeah, yeah. Just for now. I don't want any spoilers. Um, But yeah, the dragons, yeah, they're a toss-up. I mean, sometimes you'll be in mid-mission, or you'll want to fast travel somewhere, and then all of a sudden you'll hear that fucking roar, and you'll hear the music, and you're like, ah, oh, I gotta go fight a dragon again. And it's, it's it just gets to be obnoxious, especially when you have, like, stacked up amount of uh, dragon souls. I got six stacked up right now that I haven't even used yet. I have shouts that I haven't even unlocked that I actually have the ability to unlock. Um, just I just don't use them, so I don't really see the point in them yet. I could make another character and make it solely based on shouts, but as of right now, I'm pretty good. Um, what's another thing? Oh, another thing. This is good, actually. I did notice that this game is... Um, a lot less like Oblivion, more like Morrowind. I enjoy Morrowind a hell of a lot more than I like Oblivion. Obviously, I still like Oblivion. I got 300 hours on it. But I got about 400 hours on Morrowind, so... I do like Morrowind. Um, even the music is actually recycled. I shouldn't say re <laughs> recycled, that's coming. Um, the music is redone versions of Morrowind. So, that's that. Uh, a lot of things from Morrowind actually make an appearance in here. I just want to actually get some gameplay. I got some good shit now. Hold on. I know I'm like being not super talkative. My wife's asleep and she's pregnant and she'll hurt me. I've actually finally resorted to dual wielding weapons, mainly because I got weapons that are worth my while. I've got the uh, the Nightingale blade. I'm sure you all who did the Thieves Guild have the Nightingale, and then I have the it's called the Chillrend. Um, it's a ice sword. I got the I got the Nightingale armor. I want to do see if I can do a zoom in here. Come on, yeah. Nightingale armor is pretty badass. Look at that. Little glowing eyes. Little ninja-esque outfit. Yes, I am a Khajiit. That is a tail you see. Alright, let's go somewhere where some action is. No. I gotta go back here. I actually forgot an item in it for the Thieves Guild, but I'm going to go back and get it. Um, I do like the way that 
the uh, the guild missions are structured in this. Um, as I said, I think I I, th I think I said it in my last review. Oh, it'll take you a hundred, maybe a couple hundred hours to complete everything. I was wrong. You can never complete everything in this game because they have what is called infinite quests, and you'll have people randomly pop up. See. you randomly have people talk to you, maybe you'll have missions, um, guild missions consistently have missions for you that will never end. Uh, Thieves Guild will have your shield jobs, um, you know, your thievery job, your burglary, your breaking, your framing, all that stuff. Your, uh, you know, your Dark Brotherhood will have your stealing missions, uh, your stealing, your murder contracts. I haven't really done anything with the Mages Guild yet. That'll be on my final follow-up. Um, or the Fighters Guild, which in this is the Champions. I, I mean, I've joined them. I have not done anything with them. So I can't speak on the behalf of those. But so far, I'm very deep into the Dark Brotherhood. I'm almost done with the Dark Brotherhood. And I am uh, completely done with the Thieves Guild. So <laughs> if I was following the main quest, I could say that I'm halfway done with the game even though you're not really done with the game. Uh, but the game's good. I mean, 40 hours, I really still feel like I haven't accomplished shit. Um, I'm only at level 25, uh, and there's so much that I haven't even explored in this game yet. So, I mean, I purposely made this video just to show people the epic scale of the fact that I've been playing this game for 40 hours and I haven't done shit in the game. I mean... If you took what I've accomplished in the game, you could say that I'm technically almost halfway through, like I said. But you're not. I'm drowning. I'm drowning right now. Stupid. I'm not an Argonian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't done shit in this game. Alright, I'm going to have to kill this guy before I continue talking because... Alright, Arnold. Come on. Here, I'll actually use a shout. Ish. Wrong. Amulet of Mara. I just killed a married man. Oh, what a scummer. But yeah, like I said, you, you can do so much in this game, and you haven't done anything. It's, it's like, it's, it's kind of overwhelming. Like, if I go to the map and then I, I go to my missions. Like, look at these quests. These are side quests. Okay? Here's my miscellaneous quest list. This is insane. That's so many quests. Um, so the replayability in this game is good. Now, I, yes, I have all these quests, but will it keep you up? Dan and I actually were discussing a problem with games lately um, because we're so overworked at our jobs, really. When we get home, we sit down on the couch and just want to sleep. Sometimes games like this just put us to sleep. I'm not going to lie, Deus Ex, I fell asleep like five times. And it's not that the game's boring. It's just the excitement level to the body needing sleep thing. I'm not going to lie. Skyrim, like five hours in, I started to fall asleep a lot. Started nodding off a lot. Now I'm like invested, so invested in the game that that doesn't happen. Um, so it's just like straight, boom. You play for an hour in real life, doesn't feel like an hour in the game, so you feel like you're getting your time's worth. Uh, if you're like me, and you know you you have a couple hours a night set aside after your wife goes to bed to play games, um, this is a good one because you definitely feel accomplishment. Um, but you need to have the time to invest, otherwise this game's pointless. So I'm gonna go out and say this: that the game is still a perfect game. It's definitely in my top three of all time. Um, but if you don't have the time to invest, I wouldn't even bother. So, that's me being honest. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully you guys already own this.